Yo guys, welcome back. Part 2 of this Mongolia series that has started very, very well, I'm not gonna lie. I mean, we're currently top right now, I managed to get Stonehenge and Terracotta Army, and we got this lovely Pantheon, um, God of the Open Sky, plus one Culture and Faith for every two planes or grass and worked. And, I mean, we just got some really nice land, man. Like, oh, there's the bonus to pastures as well. One faith and three gold from pastures. And we got loads of pastures. We got ivory. We got flipping other camps as well. I mean, it is a bit annoying, to be honest, because I did have a comment saying how it would be interesting if I lost some more games. And that was kind of my plan for this game. <laughs> I was expecting to lose, but I mean... Obviously, when we get this, we are having a good start at least. Um, yeah, we're currently top. I wasn't expecting this. I guess this is going to show a bit of the difference between this and the uh, normal difficulty stuff. So normally right now, we're on turn 81. So everybody's kind of in classical era and settling cities as well. And this is when the AIs get like all of their bonuses, when they start settling their cities and then they get the era bonus as well. And they'll get like five free techs, two free policies, basically, at this point in the game. So they kind of suddenly go up. Whereas using this method is a bit more gradual. Like they were doing better before. They didn't get this big that big bonus, but then they'll continue growing as we go on. And to be honest, none of them are doing hugely well, generally, compared to what I've seen. Like this is the other difference, which is that the the amount that they do well is based off of like how well they actually are doing with their sieve as opposed to just giving them all kind of the same bonuses so like some of the really uh, op sieves like russia or babylon when you get them they would definitely be like a lot further up this game and some other sieves can be good as well just like if they get the right land and uh start off right like probably the fact that we built stonehenge kind of stopped one or two of them and just none of them really popped off in the way that they like could have like great library hasn't been built yet which normally it would have been and there hasn't been a religion since we just are getting to found the first one but even so i wouldn't be surprised if we get overtaken pretty soon or at the very least uh, there's no way that we'll be able to pull away i'm pretty sure and they also i'm pretty sure they'll have a lot more units than they would normally have had so I don't think there'll be any like easy touches in terms of wars. And we do have Greece and Japan near us. I mean, I don't know, the problem is that might not be that relevant because we are going to make them look a bit foolish with our six movement skirmishers that are going to just run around and kind of kill all of the units. And we have a Mount Kilimanjaro here, so we're going to make sure I get that settled. So six movement with double movement in hills. They're not really going to be able to touch us, to be honest, so it doesn't even matter how many units they have, potentially, because we might just be able to kill them all. So yeah, that settler's heading over there. I'm going to just keep settling cities, I think. When we have a really nice pantheon like this that actually scales, it's probably a good idea to just keep settling cities. I don't know if I'll come down here... This would be a good place, but it would kind of directly put us in competition with Greece. There's a nice location over here. Could have one in here. Could have one up here as well. There's some crab there. A lot of good places, really. Probably need some more workers as well. And need to get some troops. So my plan here is... I want to try and tribute Belgrade again. I believe the penalty has worn off for the tribute that we did earlier. I did sort out the bugs with uh, tributing, so it should be all good now. Turned out the bonus that Mongolia gets to tributing was being applied twice which basically meant they got up to 400% instead of you know it should be doubled but it was being quadrupled obviously too much so got rid of that and uh, the numbers should be sorted as well because they weren't being correct as well and that should be available for you guys uh, in the new in the next patch or if you check out the uh, the one that I posted on the forums i'll put it in there as well but yeah i want to get some units get a big uh, science tribute 
and then try and use that to get Angkor Wat built. Because we didn't go for the God of the Expanse Pantheon, but we still have the Tribute policy. So getting quicker border growth will be good. And it does uh, synergize well with this, I think. I think the cost reduction is additive, so it will put it down to 50% from the 75% that it was on. I think I'm... Uh, Am I going to bother with this? Because we're not getting full heal here because we're inside the city-state's territory. I think I might just move on, you know? This guy is here to defend the settler for the moment, though. I'll bring him over to Belgrade. How much do we need for this tribute? Okay, so that's 18% with one guy. I feel like we have to be really close. I don't remember having to be this close normally. Another 19% from this guy. And what I need... Basically another 100%, so I need five more. I do have one here. One over here. I better start building them. I can't build anymore until we get some more horses. I'll build a war elephant though. They have 16 combat strength, so that will count even more than these guys do. And I guess... We will just uh, garrison with these guys while we wait for the full tribute and then I think I want to go on Japan um, Japan is being attacked by Denmark wow they're already down to minus 27 I wonder if they lost a city or something I don't think war in Greece is a great idea though we probably could do it I think I'd rather war Japan we're a bit closer to them I want to secure this city and I mean they both have quite nice stuff actually they got Lapis Lazuli up here and uh, Greece has coffee. But yeah, I think I'll come back to Greece later. Once we've sorted out over here. Denmark can be pretty crazy actually early on. I've seen that quite a few times coming with early armies. I mean, it's not even turn 80 and they're already smacking up Japan. But good thing we got the friendship with them. We'll try and keep that. And let's get this religion done. Uh, we want to be Tengri, right? That's the religion of Mongolia. And of course we go hero worship and orders here. Uh, someone suggested orders and cathedrals. I'm pretty sure I agree with that. Ah, oh, with the gold from border expansion as well. Yeah, that definitely makes a lot of sense. But I need the orders first, so we'll just have to hope that cathedrals are still left in the pool at the end. I don't think I want... Okay, no, this is fine actually. Um, let's get another worker we got good money because we've been selling uh, a lot of horses and AI has been paying good money for them and we got our first uh, Khan who has the enhanced medic thing do they have anything else? Yeah, okay. So just normal great general, but with the healing and the extra movement. Okay. I guess I'll get that. All of our cities are going to be really nice thanks to this Pantheon man. I'm uh, quite excited for this. Okay, we've got the gems. Yeah, I need to keep an eye out for resources. Great Library did go. Do we know who built that? It was them. Alright. And where are they going with tech? 
Oh, they've got these two already. But no one has currency yet, which is very good news. Oh, that's unfortunate. I shouldn't have found them, probably. Wait for some more missions. Yep, I think there is the place. We'll have the sugar in range there. Yeah. It makes sense. I don't know if I need to be worried about Denmark attacking us at some point. Because we probably won't maintain the friendship with them if we end up bordering them after we kill Japan together. Okay, need some camps. Do you know I actually do have the option of uh, killing off the units? Which would allow us to get a bigger tribute. That's often a good way of doing it. So once you kill off the units, you get a bigger military near city state uh, percentage because it's based on your strength compared to theirs. I think we can do it without though. We'll get an elephant once we get this guy over as well. And this guy back and this guy, that should be enough. So there's no need to start killing them, I don't think. Okay, I would like some farms so that we can work some more planes. And yeah, let's do some garrisons since we do have this policy, so we might as well. He'll die. I actually don't really need sugar. I can buy it with that city I'm about to get. Buy out to it and then uh, get the pasture. Okay, might as well kill this. We can probably afford that, can't we? Okay, is it time for a caravan? I guess I might as well do one. Like I said, I could get another city up here. Maybe I just do that now. Fuck it, dude. Let's go. We're going wide. I don't know why, I just feel like having a city down here is a bad idea. Like, I feel like we'll just end up getting attacked by Greece and it will be kind of annoying. But maybe it's fine because we can just kill them all with our ranged guys anyway and we will get the Fountain of Youth. I don't think I'm going to be ready for two wars though. They're already hostile, man. Yeah, fuck this. Let's just go over here. We'll sort Greece out later on. Okay, have this done here. Yeah, we'll get barracks and stuff there. Um. Okay, I'll do it the other way around. I 
think I'm going to try not to explore too much of the world so that we can get some more of those city-state missions to find people. Okay, actually yeah, I want to wait for this I suppose. So we'll build a few different guys. I do need this as well. Just get that now. And we'll get the new units with the orders. Well, nah, let's get this so that we get this tribute in a good time. Yeah. Is that it? Nah, mate. Fucking hell, there's more horses. Alright, yeah, let's buy that now. I'm gonna get this as well. Potentially kill that guy next turn. Oh wow, we've got coffee as well. Definitely get that. Been fine out here. Still in simple take of the in. Seedon wants Tangrism. Is that these guys? No. Seedon. Wow, we've got so many military city states. Okay, we can try and do that, I suppose. Alright, Denmark is here. Wow, they are smashing Japan. They've got a nice little location there. Let's go back. Yeah, this is fine. I'll go for that next. Yeah, let's try and sneak through here. Again, I'm going to get that first. Build that next and get a worker here. Perfect. Alright, could indeed be time for some roads then. Let's get the coffee. Right, 
Fine. Yeah, we can get the order and then both of them. He'll die. Yeah, Luton. Perfect. Um, okay. So twenty three should be enough with the war elephant and the skirmisher. Send that to Greece. More horses. Some farms. Okay. A parantoyan aliliron ito lawan ulon. So that tell you what I need. Aha, you to. He had furs for a moment. He had furs. Bit of extra science, help us get to that. Oh, we finally got a mission. That was another thing I wanted. Satsuma. <gasps> okay. That is some good news right there. Very, very good news. I'm gonna get that council bonus. Every little helps, man. Oh, Monopion Favma. Theodora. Okay. Doing a bit shit, but she has found it at least. Okay. Yes, he got his great library and then he started going ham. Okay. Keep an eye on him. Man, they pay so much for embassies. It's pretty crazy. Indonesia religion. Two left. Yeah, religions are late as well. Alright, I suppose I will get 
one or two barrage guys. Alright, we are going to have to kill off their units then, by the looks of things. It's okay, we can do that. And then we'll get a max tribute and then we'll move on. I'll get a library here. I don't know that I really want to spread my religion around because I want to enhance it really. Because I actually really would like to get cathedrals before they get taken. So perhaps I'll just send the missionary to a missionary to here and here. And the other ones. We will um Just leave with Pantheon until we enhance. Okay. Actually, yeah, we'll definitely get currency with this tribute, so we won't need the science for that. I guess we'll finally get bronze working after this. Yes, so you can have that. Alright, religion's all gone. Greece did get a religion. Yeah, I would have been surprised if they didn't actually. Not a bad one. Fair enough. So. Okay, yeah, no, this is actually legit. I was just trying to figure out if it was still bugged, but this is actually what is intended because the I think the maximum amount you could normally tribute has gone up so it kind of scales gradually throughout the game so at this point in the game it would be about like 180 but we get double so the 50% means that we get that with only half I mean I might as well flip and try and get the full or more at least I suppose Die. Wow, dude. Okay, I'm just gonna buy an elephant. I want to kind of get moving. I'll buy an elephant, build that guy. I might go some drill guys after, but not quite yet. And I might as well declare this war. I'm just gonna wait. Should I kill him next turn? Okay. Okay, sure. Do you need to buy this with my next money though.
What? I declare one war on city states. Oh well. I just want to keep that quest. That is uh, the only thing I care about. I guess I can pledge to protect them, probably. Wow, I can't even. Well, <laughs> we'll try and make sure we can before we take the city. Just go ahead with the units now. Ah, oh, they have boats, that's why they're so uh, resistant to the tributing. Well, we can actually do something about that, hopefully. Get the additional healing. Get these two guys in range, see what units we can kill, and then take as big a tribute as we can. do is try and get the scout to go over here actually and maybe up here. I feel like we've explored all the useful stuff here. And we'll just get embassies when we need to find the sieves. Ah yes. Should I be worried about this tech? No, I'm good on getting that. Try one of those again. What the fuck is this? Interesting. Oh wait, I never had this guy. Okay. Okay, happiness is a problem. We can get a boat here. For some crabs. Get the coffee. Okay, that's good. And yeah, I'll keep an eye out here. We'll try and catch something. Pretty sure it is possible, I've done it before. Are they really just running away with the boats? That ain't cool, man. I guess we just get some experience. I don't actually think I want to... I shouldn't kill city-states, right? Because I should keep tributing them instead. Okay, we'll make sure we get the max next turn then. He's just gonna fucking run into the water, man. Alright, another of these dudes. 
get a missionary for these two cities. Maybe that one. Some silver. I mean, there is silver here. I don't. I don't want to conquer them though, because it's so nice to have just uh, the tributing all the time. Jesus, dude. Do you know what? I kind of need my horse anyway, but we're about to get five more. Oh. Take it for a bit. I'm going to declare war on them anyway, so... Well, this one wasn't really a huge success. We only killed one of them, I think, didn't we? And we got a big penalty for doing it somehow. But that's the way it is. Boom, max tribute. Alright, I need to flip and choose all my next text. So, I actually think Alhambra is good here, isn't it? So, maybe. Do you know what? I'm really not feeling any of this stuff. I think we just go full horseman. The heroic epic is good, isn't it? Um, how's my supply cap? It's alright. Let's go philosophy next then. Big, big yields. Okay. Yeah, a bit of culture as well. It's about to get doubled once we finish off authority. I don't think... That would be nice. I mean, how long would it take, though? It would take about six turns, probably at least, to get them there and get them back. I kind of want to start in Japan now. Okay, well, you can be a garrison. Don't have many garrisons right now. Yeah, I should just start on this. I mean, I could build it here. Yeah, we'll do that actually, because, uh, it would be good to keep building units here where we have the order and then uh, get the man there. We'll find our item next turn as well. I missed this by one fucking turn then. Shit. Aparantoyan Aliliron Kito Lawan Ulun. Okay. Oh, he peaced out. Didn't even get a soccer. I 
I'll kill that guy. Um, yeah, I guess I'll come around this way. See if there is anything over here. Need to get some bridges over the rivers, to be honest. Alright, the iron. Got some iron. More there. Okay. I shall do the last camp next. And yeah, we get the double movement over hills as well, so that's how we're moving so quick. Need production, really. Don't even buy this. Okay, time for that. Wow, dude. Yeah, we literally got... We already have 25% of the world's horses here. Okay, Japan. Yeah, 17 techs. We're in there, we're in there. Actually ahead of Byzantium. Um, yep, more dudes. Like I said, I want to be able to pledge to protect uh, Hanoi. So that we get a bit more for the quest. Okay, I'm thinking, uh, so I'm thinking the way to do my army is honestly just to get full horsemen, because I'm trying to imagine using these ranged cavalry guys, and then trying to use them with long swordsmen, or with catapults, and I just don't think it really works, because these guys are going to be trailing behind and just getting in the way the whole time, so I feel like having uh, mounted units alongside these guys is going to be the best way because we can move them around like similarly so i might get drill on a few of them so they can actually do the city taking get like drill and blitz and let them do the city smacking but at the very least they can tank in front and they'll be a lot easier to move around than uh, the long swordsman like i was saying Um, yeah, we can just go this way. Japanese is decent for the moment. Got a lot of luxuries. I can buy this sugar as well. And there's a lapis lazuli here also. They settle down here, that makes sense. Got one more city I can settle in here. Uh, not sure when I'll do that, but building other stuff right now. It is annoying because I need that for the mission, but I also think uh, keeping them alive for tributing will be better generally. All 
All right, what's going on in here then? Not a lot, man. They seem weak. They do seem very weak. Like, even the elephants are struggling to keep up with the horse archers right now. Okay, more people. Nice. It's coming along a little bit slowly. Yeah, it would have been faster there. Hmm. Maybe I fucked up here. Could get an internal caravan quickly from here. Be my best bet. Uh, I can't send one from anywhere else, so I should do that. I guess if somebody else builds Anchor, what we will just have to conquer it. And trade. Ah. All right, I guess we won't be able to do that then. So, try and get in here, but um, they could ask us if we're attacking them. So, I'm gonna try and avoid that. while simultaneously getting ready to attack them. The fuck? My beautiful farm. Alright, do I go for the order here? I'm about to start killing units, so... Kinda makes sense. I guess I'm pretty sure I'll go fealty though, so maybe I do wait for that do everything super efficiently and I can get my next great profit first as well. How does he... I thought he had to see them all. I mean, he can only see like one or two, surely. I tried to hide them all up there. He wasn't having any of it, man. Alright, so... We are at war. Oh, we get the beautiful uh, Mongolian war music, actually. 
I'm a big fan of this one. One, two, three, four, five, six. There's no walls here. There is a combo though. Alright, well, we'll keep it safe. Just kill this guy. What I have not done is kept this safe. <laughs> that is what I haven't done. Hopefully he'll be okay there, man. Um, I think I'll just have to do that. Whatever. This hasn't been great. But... We'll sort it. As long as none of them die, we can just heal them up. And uh, we'll get through him eventually. Okay, next guy, I guess I'll take another branch. I mean, I said uh, the march would be really good, and obviously it will be, but logistics is really nice as well. When you have bonus movement, um, you can actually use the, the two charges, like, all the time. I think more units, to be honest. Oh wow, we got mob as well. Man, I didn't even notice all this shit. I did not even notice. Construct four markets. I will do that. Or do I just want to tribute them, actually? Oh, it would be a while until we could do that. Mmm. Mmm. -hmm. Nobody died. We're cool. I guess we'll heal people over here. Over here, maybe. Great thing is we don't have to put them in a circle anymore because we put the general right on top of them. Normally it's a little bit awkward because you have to try and position them like in a flipping uh, circle around where you want your medic. So that. I'm gonna kill this guy first. Okay. 
Yep, let's get in there. Alright, cool. That works for me. Time for some roads. Know what I would quite like the next uh, profit. What did people go for? That's what I want to know. So this is us. Hindus, I'm assuming, is Indonesia. Veneration. Yeah. Two very gods. Very nice one. Okay. Rubbish founder though. Yeah, rubbish founder belief. Rubbish pantheon. Another kind of not that great pantheon. A kind of decent pantheon. I mean, follower belief. That must be Byzantium. Catholicism. I don't know. Do we know who that is? I don't think we do. No, so we haven't met them yet. Okay. And yeah, Alexander's religion. Okay. We're ready to get some walls here, to be honest. Because Greece don't particularly like us. No, bro. Okay, no, it's Hanoi. Why do I keep getting stressed about Sidon? Wait, Hanoi has the flipping the camel arches as well. So, man, do we want these guys? Because we don't have unique mounted range units. We just have the bonus to them. So we'll get that bonus on the camels as well. Okay, let's try this then. This isn't amazing what's going on here because we're in the fucking woods so we're getting a combat strength uh, less of it so maybe I'll just try and work my way through here now which should actually be fairly easy so I should have killed that guy
Alright, some lovely farms done then. Yes, time for roads. Eshbalik. Can buy it next turn by the looks of it. Yeah, we'll keep that. Need the money to buy uh, buy this. We're definitely cutting it a little bit fine, actually. Somebody could build it. It's not normally a priority, though, so... It should be okay. Ooh. Can I get that now? Polynesia at war with uh, Indonesia. Ooh, I do like the sound of that. Alright, they're already in statecraft as well. Fair play to them. Get to kill him. Try and kill these fools here. Kind of just want to heal all these guys, though, so just go like that. Get both of those guys to do the roads. I'd like to help the city out a bit more. Okay, I'll buy that. I guess I should build the library. Do I need it to build this? Yeah, I do. And I'll probably build it there. How about I do the roads like this, actually? I go across. Uh, or do I just want to build the road through here? Probably I should do this, actually, so that we can get to Greece a little bit quicker. If we need to, which we probably will. Okay, you can do that road, but then I'll do the road down there next. Need some workers up there too. Maybe we will get to steal some. Let's go, dude. Let's get that. Hell yeah, we got it. Dude, I'm well unhappy. What the fuck? 
Baguio. Babarlo. Okay, we're okay. I didn't really expect uh, the happiness to be that bad. I thought we have quite a few luxuries now. Could just go and nick that. Alright, let's actually do some damage then. I'm gonna bring this guy down. To here. Um, Can't even clear marshes yet. All right, yeah, I want to do this road first. And probably it's time to start working some libraries. Build the rest of the stuff in all the cities. Get that too. And adopt our final policy here of authority, which does give us double the yields from this, so double the culture we get from tributing city states. And um, also, we get the free units when we reach pop 10. Oh, yeah, and we get 10% combat strength, so probably should have done that before we did the attacks. But anyway, that seems like a good place to end this part. Um, yeah, I mean, we're going in on Japan here. I kind of shouldn't have ever gone up here, I don't think. I should have just brought everyone down here. Wasted a couple of turns. Not the end of the world, though. Yeah, next, um, okay, I'll build a trade route and get that alliance back. We will get this lovely quest when we conquer Satsuma. So I probably will make more units actually. Want to get as many units, the bonus, as we can. Since 21 is actually a lot for this mission. Yeah, I can't do that, which would give me a bit extra from City State Quest, but whatever. We still get quite a lot. Um, yeah, and we'll just keep building everything up. I mean, we'll aim for Alhambra. It should actually be quite easy to get it, because we're only competing against Denmark. Denmark is not an especially fast tecker. So, yeah. And we'll keep an eye on uh, Polynesia. They are already one interstate craft. They have great lighthouse, great library, and they are at war with Indonesia. I'm waiting to find them with uh, embassies, but... be good to get the mission first. I've already found Indonesia, actually. They're over there, so maybe I'll get an embassy with them. Just so we can see what's up. Babarlo. Jakarta. Ooh, lots of food. No religion, though. They haven't got this monopoly yet as well. 
Otherwise they would have even more food. Okay, cool. Well, yeah, obviously going pretty well. And we haven't even started properly using these guys yet. They should be very, very powerful. And should be easier once we get through here. We'll probably take all three of these cities, I suppose. And hopefully we can remain at peace with Denmark. Though I would be surprised. And Greece as well. I would also be surprised. But we'll see. Uh, I'm still thinking of doing that stream on Boxing Day. Just need to sort it all out. I don't really know what I have to do, but hopefully YouTube will help me out with that one. But yeah, it normally goes wrong first time, doesn't it? We'll see though. So yeah, Boxing Day uh, evening UK time, probably around 8 UK time. Be there if you fancy it. I don't know if I'm going to continue with this game on there or potentially try some other games you can send them in if you just send them on the, the thread that I usually use for the game analysis it's probably easier um yeah and probably no video tomorrow so have a good Christmas guys and I will see you soon